Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Left in Lobby podcast. I am your host, Gaming for Good. I am joined by... Defender for you. <laughs> yes, so we are back. Episode 3. Tricky episode 3. Yes. Uh, we are um, just finding our feet. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the content. Um, which, on that nature, first I want to thank both of our sponsors today. We'll hear more from those later on. Yes. And I want to introduce a new segment to you, everybody. I call it PS. PS. That's right. Postscript bullshit. So the stuff that we start talking about, if you know you guys are listening, and then you're just like, hey, they said they were going to talk about this, and then they never did. Let us know in the comments. You can tweet us at Left in Lobby Pod. You can email us at Left in Lobby Pod at gmail.com hopefully i got that right it will be in the descriptions below yeah and also we have a discord which is available if you look on the youtube link which speaking of youtube we are available on youtube uh left in lobby if you just search for that you'll see our nice blue logo <laughs> which i now deemed my mona lisa yes. um so yes so what uh ps bs do i have this week so i meant to introduce this last week um, and if you remember, in episode one, we talked about the dog that looked like its arse had been chewed off by an imaginary shark. Um, turns out, not actually chewed off by a shark. I just saw it on a surfboard and kind of put two and two together. <laughs> uh, turns out it was born with its legs sort of crossed up into its its guts. Oh. So they did a surgical procedure, completely removed the dog's back legs. And I can confirm, it says on their website, the dog actually just poops normally now my dog used to sort of squat down and hunker down and poop i think this dog might have a bit of issues with that maybe the owner has to follow it with the kleenex or something what happens but yeah apparently it poops what happens if it's got worms because dogs when they have worms they put their two back legs up and they scoot along the floor how does this dog do that i don't think it can can it i imagine it just you know <laughs> drags itself with its front paws and it's already dragging its ass. <laughs> yeah um and other PSPS. Yes, uh the Hatchimals. Apparently you can program them to say go fuck yourself grandma. Mm. I don't know, but apparently you can program them. I will if somebody wants to donate a Hatchimal to the show, <laughs> I will thank you with, you know, all my heart on the 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 show and we will hatch the Goram thing right here while we record a podcast. We will also which, call it Lil. Yes, we will call the Hatchimal Lil. <laughs> and then if you somebody donates too, we shall call it Phil and Lil, and then we'll just, you know, play the Rugrats theme the entire time. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the, the postscript stuff from previous episodes. Once again, if you do have something you want us to touch on, or if something that we started talking about, and then I somehow sidetracked the conversation, let us know, and we will go back to it and let you know what we were going to say. Um, speaking of things being sent to us, this one... This one my co-host doesn't know about. Um, I was I was gifted this wonderful bag. Who by? From Blizzard. Really? Blizzard saw my awesome YouTube videos and they were just like, we like this. Have a free freaking bag. Are you kidding me? I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I mean, it's got like a million pockets and it's got an awesome Overwatch logo did and they, all the zips did they say really, Overwatch on it. Did they really message you? Uh, no, I needed a bag for work and I bought it off eBay. I just wanted oh. to see what your face would be when I said I got a free bag from Blizzard. What an ass. <laughs> okay, so enough of my assery. Um, what has been going on crazy in the world this week? Well, this weird news comes straight from, you know it, ladies and gentlemen, the Mirror tabli the, tabloid the website. The, the tentpole of British journalism. Yes, the, where we... the backbone of, of <laughs> pure, legitimate journalism. Where we get the all Daily our Mirror. inside stories, are straight on the dot scoops. So this was posted on the 8th of January, so not too long ago. And it's actually about a man who, actually, who complains to Morrison's but with an X-rated complaint. So a man X-rated complaint. Wait, he tattooed like you suck on his dick and just walked in and. No, Woo! a man X-rated the X-rated complaint about a box of donuts escalated as Morrison gives sex advice. So Morrison's uh, giving out sex advice. 
I I'm not I'm going to I'm not going to say anything. I just want to know what this story is. So, uh right. So the gentleman tweeted Morrison's uh, at Morrison's oi, there's no ring in my donut. How am I supposed to put this on my willy and get my girlfriend to heat them off me now? So all because his donut didn't have a ring, he thought he'd send Morrison's that tweet. <laughs> okay. First piece of advice don't warm it up. No. No matter what you've heard about warming up apple pie, it don't that the jelly in there is like lava. Okay. Mm. Um the other one, just stab a freaking hole in it, dude. <laughs> I'll put a link in the we'll put a link in the description, but you'll see the image of the actual donut. They're not even ring donuts. They're just normal donuts. But he's claiming that <laughs> there isn't any ring in them, so he can't yeah. Well, I, I suppose if dude gets his little fella, you know, hard and then he just pushes it hard uh, enough. Pow! Maybe he could get the custard to come out. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get introducing food into sexy time. I've said on previous episodes that I am a sexual delinquent. Like, it's <laughs> going to happen. But um, you buy the ring donuts for that kind of stupidity, dude. Mm. You don't just... I mean, I suppose, you know how they have, like, the little... The little donut butthole where the jam goes into. Yeah. I bet you could sort of maneuver it inside there. Yeah. But at that point, she's going to want to bite. That is not territory I want to go into. No, 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 no. 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 There's some crazy motherfuckers in this world. Oh, so uh, Morrison's did tweet back. So obviously, oh <laughs> yeah. So it said at Morrison's. Oh, wait, there is no ring in my donuts. How am I supposed to put my willy in and get my girlfriend to heat them off now? And then there's been a re- there's a reply from Morrison saying improvise, and then he's replied back saying I did. I'm now in A and E with burns from the onion rings. <laughs> 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 oh, I love this. This is what Twitter was made for. Then Morrison reply, you didn't wait for them to call down, question mark. <laughs> He's replied again, you didn't know my missus, she's very demanding. <laughs> then they've replied back, she sounds it, my advice, leave everything to chill for two minutes. <laughs> I think if I'm putting something around the old fella... I, I think if it's been deep fried, I want to give it at least a solid five. Yeah, it's true. Give it five minutes. Everybody, lessons from the Left in Lobby podcast. If you are going to put it around your genitalia, give it at least five minutes. Yes. Which uh, could it, also make you a better lover if you, um, you know, give your lady five minutes to... and Well, stew. also give yourself to, to calm down so you can last. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> five minutes, I can get soft and go hard again. He um he replied back saying thanks Cam. So the Cam is uh customer advice Morrison's. Thanks right, Cam. Gosh. It's nice to finally talk to someone about this. Morrison's. If you need anything else, you know where I am. Cam. He, last message. Thanks Cam. Wow. <laughs> what other things could you could you get from Morrison's? Now are we thinking of round things that we could insert things into? Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. You, oh, could... you could get exotic and get squid rings. Oh, uh, no, because fish. I've got the ultimate. As long as you don't dunk it, a party ring. Yes. You know the little biscuits with the icing on yeah. them? Just, you just get it. Actually, no, I don't, I they're don't a bit think small. the hole in the middle will be thick enough. And they're a bit small. Yeah. They're very small. Maybe a lot... It... Oh, it might be Tesco's. Have you ever seen those large biscuits? What 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 like? I went to rings. Tesco's. I went to Tesco's and they sell like a bourbon biscuit, but instead of being like you know bourbon shaped like this big, it was like this big. No, I haven't. I wonder if they make party rings in those. They could. They could do. Or you know, just buy the ring donuts. That would yeah. you know be a lot. Yeah. More impressive. Yeah. You could just... get like spaghetti. Yeah. And dangle it off there, so it's like got no, like it's it got always... hair. So. Really, with a spaghetti, you could use it two ways. You could start off when it's not soft and whack people with it, if you've got a bunch of it, Ooh. and then cook it and then drape it. You know, there's those weird people that like to feed things down. The... Oh, shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. 
no, no, Ooh, no. that could be an interesting use for spaghetti. Don't recommend oh. it because that shit breaks like that. Oh. So, ooh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't put spaghetti down oh. there, folks. No. I don't care what I just said. Don't put. I, just don't put anything down there. Just really, think, just don't. People are going to be watching this podcast. Go. Oh, oh, good idea. <laughs> if somebody does do that, I'm saying right now, disclaimer. Yeah. I nothing to do it at your own risk. Lil, anything we say, <laughs> everything we say, we are not. Just don't do it. We are not medically trained. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't get that thought out of my head. No, now. don't. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. So, have you ever used food in a sexual manner? Um, you can't just tell me to pass. I don't. No, I don't think I have. I think I've always said I would like to, but I never have. Yeah, I've never. Wait, have I? <laughs> Does nipple spread count? What? Does nipple spread count? Yeah. And chocolate, yeah. Spread body yeah. paint, yeah. Then yeah, I guess I did. I normally eat the food before it even gets into the bedroom, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably one of my biggest problems too. Yeah. Like I couldn't even do like Armageddon with the little animal cracker and just <laughs> up your boobs. No, <laughs> I, I I'd get it out of the bag. It'd be half melted by the time you got to the <laughs> even the belly button, and then it'd be gone. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just crap in bed. <laughs> It's not really something I have to worry about. I'm about to... N- Get married. Wait, choice of words here. <laughs> I'm about to lock down you want to be careful. a female for the rest of my life. Your, I was going to say nail. Your fiancé could watch this. She will watch this. <laughs> um, so, I love you. <laughs> Can't wait to marry you. The wedding is off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Um, yeah, sexual food, food and sex. Yeah. I don't know. I think it could be good. I think anything that sort of um, encourages you to explore regions could get interesting. As in Wait, no, that makes it sound like I want to shove a cucumber up somebody's ass and eat it. Oh, them regions. I thought regions of food, so like different well <laughs> food <laughs> no i do not recommend you go for like an indian curry and just you know slather that on the no no parts of your lover because that's not going to end well no um Ugh. i i i once knew a person that was cutting chilies yeah desperate for the toilet no down tools oh, no, no. went to the toilet no they were in pain for a while yeah i bet oh so yeah that that's um that's like when you're ill and you've got Vic Vapor rub on your hands. It's the same, same concept. But isn't that just tingle lube at this point? No, because if it's no, because if you're going to the toilet and it's all over your hands, it stings. It really stings. <laughs> Sounds like you know from experience. Yeah, any any soft tissue, that stuff burns. Nice. Yeah. Maybe a form of torture. Yes, could be. Stop waterboarding, Vic Vapor rub. Yep. On the gooch. It will uh, uncongest your nasal area and burn your genitalia. There you go. So they can smell it burning. Yeah. So have you um, seen any films since the last time we spoke? Um, movies. Um, shockingly. No, I haven't seen a Garam thing. Okay. I did. Um, at the weekend, I did go down to the O2. Yeah. In, in London. Yeah. And I went to see Star Wars Identities. Oh, I want to go now, see that. Is that any um, good? Yeah, it is. It is pretty good. It's like, um, do you know, like the Harry Potter world is just like a massive warehouse, yeah, a massive hangar of like Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Um, this is like a traveling version of this. That that. Oh, okay. So they do have like Yoda, and they've got loads of costumes and things like that and they do have these interactive exhibits yeah. which were pretty cool you put this thing around your neck and then put one headphone on yeah and then you walk around and then when you stand within the range of a certain thing it'll start telling you oh, cool. uh, information about what you're seeing then there was a lot of artwork like if i could have th- if i thought i could have got away with like just grabbing some artwork off the wall and and running yeah I, I totally would have done it because this artwork is absolutely amazing. I would love to, even the missus admitted she would have this stuff around the house, and she hates my nerdy artwork, dude. So, <laughs> is it all? St- it, it, is it all like sceneries and stuff like that from Star Wars? 
it's like storyboards and all sorts. Oh, you get nice. to see um, early versions. Uh, Chewbacca looked like he was going to be a freaking gremlin at one point. <laughs> Uh, Jabba the Hutt used to stand up and be all kinds of weird. Oh. You got to see some really great stuff. Yeah. And then whilst you were going around, I'll put this up. I'll put it in the podcast or something. You get to sort of create your own character. So you're given a wristband. Okay. And then you scan this wristband and it's just like, what uh, type of creature are you? Are you a male or a female? And it's just like, well, I'm a male. And then there's lots of these little uh, hexagons on the wall. And then you can pick to be like a Wookiee or an Ewok. Yeah. Or, Whatever. So you can choose your own story and you can create your own character. I think by the end of it, I was a Wookiee ja, 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 Jabba. I was a Wookiee uh, bounty hunter. Yeah. That was... Uh, I was on the light side. I did go good at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's kind of a fun thing. And then, like I say, they email you the, the results over. So I've got all those results. Oh, I'll send cool. them to you um, soon. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Um, and then from there, well, the reason we were going down in the first place is because I had tickets to go and see the Practical Jokers yeah. live or the Tenderloins live. Yeah. And then I thought, well, you know, I'm traveling all the way to London. I'm paying a crazy amount for parking. Oh, you while should... I'm there, I may as well just, you know, go and see the Star Wars thing. You should have let me know a little while in advance because I know a, a nice cheap parking area around there. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah. Oh, well. So, yeah, we, we had parking from, like, 10 a.m., so it was like, screw it, we'll go and make a day of it. So yeah. we went down, we saw the Star Wars identities. That was great fun. And then the Impractical Jokers. Um, I absolutely love that show. Yeah. I've said on a number of occasions that is the funniest thing on TV. Yeah. For me, at least, anyway. I've, I've laughed at a lot of things over the years, but... <laughs> Impractical Jokers just makes me laugh so hard. And yeah, the the live show was absolutely awesome. I loved it. I wish I'd got better seats, yeah. but I am not that rich. I would Those seats, they sold out. There was 15,000 people there. Um, and the they did a show last year. Seats sold out in seconds. Like I was, I was sat there on the website waiting. The moment they came on sale, yeah. couldn't get any tickets. They came on sale again, sat there waiting... Could not get any tickets. I tried for Birmingham, Manchester, everywhere. I ended up getting tickets for London when they added new dates later on. Yeah. So those tickets were a nightmare to get, but I did manage to get some. Yeah. And they were pretty decent-ish seats. Like, I could see things going on. I could make out which characters were on the stage. Yeah. But, yeah, it was it was a great show. Um, the, the clips, they sh- are you aware of the Impractical Yeah, jokers? yeah, yeah. I've seen quite a lot of their stuff here on telly. So some of the, the clips they show... On the stage show, they were just hilarious. I've laughed. <laughs> I've not laughed like I've laughed at those in such a long time. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it thoroughly recommend going to see them. Uh, if in 10 years you manage to get tickets. Yeah, I might actually have a look into that because I've, I've watched a lot of Impractical Jokers. And I know a lot of friends that went to the same, well, not the same show as you, but the same weekend as you. Yeah. And they, um, they said it was really good as well. Yeah. So, uh, how about you? Have you managed to catch any movies since we last spoke? Yes, I've seen Assassin's Creed. Ah, now, this is a movie based on a video game. Yes. Uh, Typically, movies based on video games suck balls. Yes. Would you say that this is a typical video game movie? Yes. Yes. The only right. the only good thing about this film was the free running and parkour they were doing, and when they went back to the past, that was the best part of the film. Um, when he went into the Animus and went yeah. back, um, it's with Michael Fassbender, so the guy who plays Magneto. Yep. Um, the whole concept was good. I liked the young it. Magneto, not the old one. Yeah, the young Magneto, not the old Just one. Just to clarify, yes, um, it is good. Like the the way they do it um it's not Ezio. it's not desmond out of the original games it's actually a completely yeah. different character but along the same lines he's a relative of an ancient assassin and um i can't remember what the bad guys are called the te- the templars templar yeah the templars um obviously in the future well nowadays pick him up and use him to try and find the apple of eden as they do in the right, film so the that's game. a Essentially, story the first game. 
Uh, actually, it's the first three: um, uh, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Two, and Brotherhood. Are uh, all okay. Desmond, and they're all and they're looking for the Apple of Eden. I thought they found the apple in the end of the first game. No, it's the end of the Brotherhood. They found it. I played, I played Assassin's Creed One, bought Assassin's Creed Two. Yeah, played a little bit of that for a while. But the problem was that when I played that, it was, I was going back to it maybe a year or two later. Yeah. Since then, free running mechanics had come on a million times better. Yeah. So I ended up getting annoyed at Assassin's Creed Two. Then eventually <laughs> went back to Assassin's Creed Two. I now own Assassin's Creed 3 because yeah. Ubisoft gave me it at Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't... I don't know. Those games, I don't seem to be able to get into them as much as I would like. Yeah. I don't know if that's my fault or theirs. There's a lot of know. work in them games. Like, on yeah. the, there's a, tons and tons of collectibles if you want to get 100%. And the main storylines... Like, I've got... Uh, behind me here, I've got Syndicate. Which I love the Assassin's Creed games, but once the story spoilers, once the storyline ends in well, the main storyline ends at Brotherhood, I mm. kind of lost interest. Cause, yeah, because spoiler, Desmond dies, and it's um, completely different. And then what happens is is then Black Flag comes out, and they use his his DNA, so someone else goes in, and it's just just the storyline changes. Yeah, I got Black Flag as well. I bought that when it came out on the Xbox, yeah. and I didn't play it. Black Flag is a very good one. It's one of the best ones, actually. And so Syndicate, because it's set in London, set in mm. Victorian London, and that's quite cool. I think it just became more of the same for yeah. me. No, it is. And that, that to me, like, the first Assassin's Creed came out, there was something special. Yeah. And now it's just... Assassin's Creed. FIFA. They've, they've yeah. churned out so many. I just kind of stopped caring. I think. And then they did. I, then they did Watch Dogs, which is again very similar to. Yeah, I I own Watch Dogs on Xbox and PC. Yeah. I've. Have you played Watch Dogs at all? Yeah, I played Watch Dogs on the PS4. Uh, you my... know, there's that first section where you get in and then you're trying to escape a building. Yeah. That's as far as I've got. <laughs> I got almost to the end, but then again, like Assassin's Creed, it was all more the same. So I just got bored. Hmm. So, yeah, those games are just... I don't know. Maybe I've just fallen out of love with the genre. Maybe yeah. YouTube takes up too much of my life and I just can't do it anymore. I don't know, but there's just something about that that just doesn't make yeah. me want to chop off a finger and swear my allegiance. Yeah. Well, I think they're just a lot of the same because you either... In Assassin's Creed, you have to sit there listening to people, getting information. You have to go and assassinate someone or you have to go and pick up or you have to go and murder someone. It's all the same. Yeah. The same in yeah. Watch Dogs. You have to hack someone. You have to find someone. You have to find a clue. You have to follow a scent. The whole old game's mechanics are exactly the same. So they kind yeah. of got more the same. Which, when you think about it, Far Cry wasn't much different. No. Again, it's all Ubisoft. Ubisoft seem to just have one game in them and they just keep yeah. plumbing it different ways. Yeah. So well, apart from the I don't know. again, maybe that's why I never played Far Cry Four. Yeah, I'd, I've got Far Cry Three. I've not got Far Cry Four. I own Far Cry Four on the Xbox and the PC. Yeah, sadly, I never played them. <laughs> I need to play more games than I buy. Jesus, yeah, me too. I'm sounding like such a freaking spoiled snobby. <laughs> yeah, little and brat. I'm really not. I just, <laughs> I don't know. YouTube. YouTube breeds something within me where I feel the need to buy the latest games, to yeah. play them, to get them on the channel, yeah. and then it's on to the next video, and yeah. the game never gets taught. Yeah. It's such a dangerous way of gaming. Well, I've I've had Uncharted 4 from the day it got released, and I only completed it this weekend. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And the Uncharted, you quite like the Uncharted I love them, series. yeah. And it wasn't because uh, I fell in, fell out of love with it. It's just because more games came out and I thought yeah. people want to see this. Again, yeah. I've got... I, when the PS4 first came out, I made sure that I bought the games that I wanted to play at the beginning when it first came out because there's hardly any. Smash all... Sm complete them all and then buy another game, complete it, buy another game, complete it. Yeah. And then they just started shoveling loads of games out. I was like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then didn't complete half of them. Yeah, and the thing is, I know it would be much better for both me and my wallet if I was to just not buy the game. Yeah. And then buy it in a Steam sale for like £10 three yeah. months down the line. So I have started to try and do that. There are a few games that I've not actually touched. Yeah. 
So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll get. I don't, what I need to do is like break a leg or something. <laughs> yeah. And then I can stay home and just play games all day long, and yeah. that will that will leave me a much better position. Yeah. the f- The funny thing is, is after watching Rogue One and talking to you about it in the last uh, podcast, I've gone back to Battlefront. And I've gone and bought the season pass. Oh yeah, gone and bit the season pass. And what they've done is they've added um, um, Salak One. There's no Salak. What's the place where there's where the main base is at the end of the film? I can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I couldn't name it for the life of no. me, but I know where. But what, what you're they've about. what they've added is that level, and you do the run where you have to get through the shield onto the planet, and then get out. Yeah. And that's really good. I was playing it last night. It's really, really good. That's. That was what I wanted to do when I was watching the movie. I wanted to go yeah. home and reenact that. And I God ha- damn it, I can do I did it yesterday. I'm not going to spend it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. I've got a discount no. off of the season pass because I'm a PlayStation Plus member. So it's, Ah, right, yeah. That was cheaper. So I thought, why not? Why the hell not? I want to be in the Star Wars universe. Sure. Yeah. Right. This is saying that. Talking about Galaxies Far, Far Away, this is our first sponsor. Ah, so in America, they are massive on aliens and spotting them and claiming that they are out there. So there is actually a group called uh, the Alien National Alert League. So they go around and they obviously spot aliens. They pretend, well, I say pretend, unless you've got scientific evidence, there's not going to be. It's a very tight field to get into, that one. It is a very tight field to get into. Um, It's a lot of digging, a lot of getting dirty. Um, Mm -hmm. They have a lot... They've got networks all around the world. Um, Yeah. But, yeah, it's the Alien National Alert League. It's it's mainly based in America. And if you want to check them out, it's just www.anal.com. Aha, yeah. Anal.com. And then you can spot for aliens as well in the dark. Right. Thank you, Anal. <laughs> Thank you, Anal, indeed. Yeah. So, I've, at work, right, I've started a new job, hence me now wearing a shirt yeah. instead of high vis. And we have these freaking taps, yeah. right? And these taps have made me realize that I may well be a little bit obsessed with gaming. <laughs> Why? Do you do you ever get that impression that you're a little bit obsessed with gaming? Oh. When I was younger, I used to say obsess over a game. I used to play games to completion when I was younger. Yeah. I I remember playing Broken Sword. Yes. And I had a paper round at the time and I was trying to remember I was trying to figure out what the flying ducky I could do to get past the goat at the castle. Really? <laughs> Yeah, there was a go. I've, there was a puzzle. Is that Broken Sword to, One or Broken Sword Two? One. I yeah, I played that. Yeah, it's a good game. And you get to the castle in I want to say Ireland. Yeah. And there's a freaking goat, and the goat will not let you get past. And I went round my <laughs> paper round. I was delivering people's paper. I was thinking, right, what have I got in my inventory? What can I do? What can I possibly do to get past this freaking goat? And I was thinking about it over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> The puzzle, the solution to the puzzle was, click there, then click there, and then and the, the the guy ran. That oh, was the solution really? to my puzzle. <laughs> I just had to click twice. <laughs> so yeah, I I slaved over that for ages. Me and a few people, few of my friends were all sort of around at the same point. We all we were racing to get through it, and I got past the go. Yeah. And I was like, "How did you do it?" I says, "Oh, dude, you see, it's a very special trick." And I I went through and just like. You are fucking kidding me. <laughs> that is it. That is all I had to do. I says, yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. and So, I've always felt like I'm a little bit obsessed with games. And that brings me back to what I was saying earlier. We have these taps at work. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen them. The taps that you can sort of... It's it's just one tap. Yeah. And it's hot and cold. Yeah. And then there's a lever on the top. Yeah. And you can turn it left or right for hot. Yeah. And then you lift it up to make the water Yeah, the out. pressure, yeah. So, I have now taken to using these taps like the unlocking mechanic in Fallout or Skyrim. 
Do you know where you have yeah. to sort of angle your bobby pin and then twist the screwdriver? <laughs> so I've made a game out of washing my hands at this point. I go into the toilets and I'm just like, right, I think just there will be warm enough, yeah. but not that much it'll scold me. And then lift it up. And then if I burn my hands, <laughs> then I failed and the bobby pin broke. And then if yeah. I get it right, it's fair enough. If it's too cold, it's fair enough. Yeah. And you think, well, yeah, but you just put it to the same spot all the time. But due to the different level levels of hot and cold water and what throughout the building, <laughs> it actually does make for a fairly interesting game to me that I'm just like, oh, you are such a sad, sad individual. I just spend my time trying to figure uh, out these taps. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I think I, I'm the yeah, same I, I, I am films. obsessed. Like, if I someone says something that sounds like a quote out of a film, then I'll be like, that's out of that. Yeah, where's that from? Or they'll say something. So like every time... That? Um, <laughs> someone goes, damn it. I always go, Janet, which is out of um, uh, Rocky Horror. Every time someone says, damn it, I always go, Janet. And then, it, and then stuff like that. And then other films, like someone will say <laughs> another quote, um, like, um, uh, you're my only hope. I'll be like, mm, Leia. And stuff like that. Just, but I think I'm, yeah, where you're obsessed, well, I say obsessed, yeah. where you've got that with games, I've got that with films. Whenever anybody says anything that's any, anything relevant to a film, I'll be like the next line or relevant to it. I do continually make movie references yeah. that absolutely nobody understands or gets. Yeah. I, I kind of wish there were more people that would get it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, then you've kind of got a friend. Then I have a friend. Cause Wait, I get that my sounds jokes. so sad and pathetic. Yeah. Um, I'm just getting what I married. meant to say was I'm lonely. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. There's this there's just certain yeah. things that you kind of wish other people would pick up on. But then again, you don't yeah. then get that magical well, moment when somebody actually does pick up on it. The problem is nine yeah. times out of ten, the people that pick up on the references that I make are like weird, <laughs> nerdy, shy people like me. So then. You know, unless yeah. it's like blatantly screaming out Lord of the yeah. Rings and just one ring to rule them all. No. Then, you know, nobody really sort of yeah. gets. No, it's like, true. They don't really tag up with me. So, I don't know. Maybe I just need to <laughs> quit being such a man child and conform to the way in which the world works. No, adulting's not good. Yeah, no, it's not. It's. it's mm. Forget adulthood. I want to be a child forever! Yes, big man child. Wait, less of the big dude. <laughs> I'm oh. <laughs> so, do you know how your missus will say, I don't know, you you're looking for a house or something, and your missus is just like, ah, oh, this has got potential. I quite like yeah. this. And then you sort of catch your missus looking at you with the same sort of look of, ah, oh, this has got potential. <laughs> yeah. I quite like this. Yeah. My missus for the wedding. Yeah. Has put me on a diet. Oh no! Yeah, I'm just. I have. I got a Christmas. When, I have this. When you say she... this tub of of sweets. Oh, you can. Which you can send that to me if you want. Other sweets are available. <laughs> um, yeah, I have this tub of the sweets. I've had one freaking bag oh, out of that no. entire box, and now I'm just like, mm, <laughs> I don't want to disappoint her, yeah. and I want to be. I the the thing is, and God damn it, she's got me. <laughs> Um, it's like, I'm marrying you, I don't want you to check out in 10 years. Oh. <laughs> I want you to live longer. And I'm just like, fuck, that makes sense. God damn it. Alright, so I'll do it. And I am I am on board with this diet. Like, yeah. I've just had a tub of sweets in my hand and I don't have the urge to eat them all. At all, honest. Right. And I swear the world is freaking tempting me too, because everywhere I go now, I see this advert for a certain chicken company yeah. that have just recently released a new thing that's cheap and tasty looking as fuck on a bus stop. Is that and um, is that the chicken shop place that you can get a loyalty card? I don't know. Can you get a loyalty card at KFC? I have one. Uh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's like the Colonel's Club yes, or something, right? I am chief colonel. You're a chief? <laughs> no, I'm not a chief. No, but on the, uh, the, the Colonel Club is very exclusive. But it's very good. You get free chicken. Very exclusive? Yeah, you get like £10 off of... When, well, when you get 10 stamps, which means you have to go there 10 times, you get £10 off. 
Which when you buy, which is not bad, I guess, if you're going. Yeah, if you buy a bucket, you'll just get it for seven quid instead of seventeen pound. Wow, you even know the prices, and I'm the fat one, <laughs> mate. I'm not far off. <laughs> <laughs> you saw, you know the socks that I got from the missus, Jesus. I do. Mr. Hungry. <laughs> That's why I'm drinking water to stop drinking fizzy drinks. That, that those things will fuck you yeah. up. Like if you look at the amount that's in, yeah, I he was looking at like coke and that. So it's yeah, th those things. More life advice, folks. Yes. Coke, it's fucking gorgeous. Yes, put it up your nose. I mean, don't put it up your nose. No, take it rectally yes. with anal. Yes. Com. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there any? Uh, what was it else have we got on the agenda? I'm trying to think what else we had on the agenda. Um, I have, let's see what other random, do you know, like, I swear somebody's like slipping like weed into my food or something. Do you reckon? Because I always have weird thoughts. Yeah. The other day I'm driving along and I just think to myself, I wonder what the sorting hat does for 364 <laughs> days of the year. Uh, I think it just, well, it would be Dumbledore's little work colleague only because it's in his office all the time so he has a little chat with it probably so you think he just sort of sits and shoots the shit with the sword in yeah do you think he ever puts him on and he's just like tell me i'm pretty yeah. like he puts i mean because the sorting hat sort of reads your mind and tells you yeah it tells you your potential and it also takes your thoughts into account as well so yeah if... so i mean it can read your thoughts yeah I think he's got a bit on the side where he's like running a psychic hotline. Oh, I thought you said when you said bit on the side, I was like, what has he got? A little trilby on the other on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought like the little French yeah. maid hat. Yeah. Oh no! Although I, I do like off. the thought, like <laughs> <laughs> I do like the thought that like Professor McGonagall is just going to get drunk at Halloween and just be like. Let's get him out. Yeah. Let's get him out. <laughs> <laughs> and then just starts dicking with the sorting hats. They sort of pass him around playing truth or dare or something. Let's drink the pumpkin juice out of the hat. Chug, 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 yeah. chug. <laughs> Don't you're drowning me. <laughs> oh, I love I love stupid little shit like that. <laughs> or um the other one I was just, I was sat there thinking just like Do you know how like Nappy companies are always off. I think, as for as long as I can remember, nappy companies have been promising a dry night. Yeah. For for like as long as I can remember, no rash, dry night nappies. Yeah. There you go, nappies. And then, you know, you think to yourself, well, why are you offering me a dry night now with the driest? Oh, it's the driest night ever. Yeah. But what was it when I was a kid? Then? It wasn't. Like, what's changed? Has Is somebody out there putting money into nappy technology? Yes. So what I've noticed, I don't know how I've noticed and why I've never paid attention to this shit, but no pun intended, um, <laughs> is that they've added layers. So now... they've, But they're supposed to be thinner. Yeah, they're thinner, but the layers are more absorbent. Oh, how do I know right. this bollocks? But anyway, yeah, the why do you <laughs> I know don't this know? Box? Um, is it are you like preparing an emergency field medical kit where yeah. you just like fuck it, pamp it? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, that'll arm. stop a bleeding throat. Um, but they're, they're meant to be more absorbent but thinner because the because I deal with a lot of customers, I'm in a lot of customers' houses, I get to watch the bloody telly all day, and there's all the stay at home mums with the nappy commercials. You get to sit and watch Jezzard. I do, and um, Judge Rinder. Oh God! I, if if I ever have to watch those shows again, like I would gladly break a TV to never watch those shows again. The chase is quite good. There's just something about Jeremy Kyle <laughs> that makes me want to murder. Yeah, I think it's more the people on it than I don't know. Him. Yeah, and I often wonder where they find these fuckers. Oh. I don't know. Like, do they just go down to Skegness and see who's drunk and screaming at 10 o'clock in the morning? Mainly Scotland, I reckon. And they're just like, you'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. 
But then, yeah, so these nappies have got thinner but more absorbent. Yeah, and, well, now you get nappies that don't even have the little straps anymore. Because when I remember when I was younger, they used to have the little tape that used to hold the sides together. Oh, like the Huggies pull-ups? Yeah, now there's just Huggies pull-ups. You don't have them anymore. Yeah, so, like, the kids can learn to just drop trowel themselves. Yeah. Or you could reuse it if you're that much of a scrubber. Yeah, turn it inside out. So, do we know who makes Always? Always? I think Always is the company that makes them. So, who makes Pampers? Pampers. So, do you think the two of them are just like, I know something you don't know. I can take three litres. Yes, what probably. Well, yeah, I think... Well, I don't think... That's got me confused. <laughs> Working it out <laughs> in my head is just... just <laughs> I think I don't know if they talk to each other because I think the nappies have to hold a lot more, don't they? They do. Like, yeah. I, but I mean, I kind of guess there's, like, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, men should never talk about this conversation. No. Um, a sanitary napkin. Yes. Shall we say, uh, like, you know, yay big. Yeah. And yet the strip on a nappy is like, you know, so yeah. big. Yeah. So there's obviously just more place for it to disperse fluid. Yeah. But I I think I think the two would translate. No, I reckon they would. I reckon they use the same type of technology. But I think one's gonna be where Yeah, I think it would just be the same, wouldn't it? It'd be the same with tenor so tenor lady as well. They're all gonna be the same. I was gonna say, do you think adult nappies and pampers? Yeah. Cause an adult has got a bigger bladder than like a, a four year old. Yeah. I reckon some I think the the adult nappies are probably, I reckon they're there as a safety precaution more than just being, I can't control it. It's more, I can't control it. Oh, I feel that I'm going quick, get to the bathroom. Instead of, unlike a baby, it's just like, <clears throat> let it all get out. Just leave it. Just. I think that's how they see it, I think. Yeah. So, do you think maybe if... If a kid is not quite trustworthy, but you don't want to put them in nappies, yeah. or if you you know you just ran out, yeah, do you think you could get away with just slapping and always on the pants? No, I don't think you can, <laughs> <laughs> because I think with babies, there's a lot that comes out all at once. Where, well, I'm on about oh, you, you know mean like in between, the later in, years, the in between bit when they're just like. I don't know the price of these things. I hear nappies are very expensive. Yes. And you have to imagine that lady napkins, lady napkins. are um, not as much. Like, surely, because no. it's just one of those... Yeah. Like, we don't want women walking around with just red crotches stinking, just being like, what? Surely they are fairly low in price. I'm just... No. You know those later well, years, they, do you think you could... think women change their... Their lady napkins, as you like to call them, uh, every time they go to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to be cheaper because they have to use more. I think, yeah. Where babies, obviously, I'm... you only change them when they go to the toilet. Babies might not go to the toilet for at least, I'm going to say, at least 12 hours, maybe? I, no, I'm pretty sure a baby just lets fly oh, yeah. whenever he likes. Like, yeah. it, it, the, I, I, we, we are, we quite gladly are uneducated in yes. this, this field. Yeah. So, you know, if you have a fairly regular child, let us know in the comments. Because when you say regular, do you mean as in it's their own or they just borrow it? Wait. <laughs> you said it, uh, regular child, like something that you can have now. So if you work with children <laughs> or if you have a child uh, and if you have a vagina, so you can answer both of these questions for us. Let us know. Um, nappies, tampons, interchangeable? Yeah. Well, not tampons, because yeah. that requires <laughs> insertion. And we are not up for putting things in babies. No. Right? We are not a Welsh rock band no. or anything. So, yeah, I, that's, that's the kind of weird-ass bullshit that I come up with while I'm just sat there thinking, like, when did I smoke weed? Because this yeah. is a not this is not a normal thought process to be having. Where does that come from? I don't even get where you even, how you even your mind even goes to that. 
I don't know either. I just figured, you know, it's something you wear around your crotch. It's ultra-absorbent. Nappy. Tampon. Yeah. I reckon they're the same technology, but one's obviously less absorbent than the other because it only has to be. Yeah, because, you know, it's it's a temporary yeah. thing. I do know the words toxic shock. The what? I do know the words toxic shock. What's toxic shock? That is your homework for this week. <laughs> I don't want you to tell me what you learned. Don't make me Google stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you you aren't going to you know get in trouble. Like... Do I have to go on the dark Probably web to not. find it? <laughs> no, you don't need to go onto the dark web. To be fair, you could just go into the um, area in which your lady friend would keep a um, uh, lady uh, ed, uh, uh, device. Um, I I imagine oh, it's a lady's it's the same device. With the, yeah, no, not that kind oh. of device. Out the gutter, <laughs> pervert. No, just the, you know, the uh, tampons. Okay. I, I imagine it's the same with the front-facing devices. But, yeah, I know the ones that you put in there, like, I... What are you doing? What are you doing so... to this podcast? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a nervous pooper. But when I poop, yeah. I need to take my mind off the job at hand. Yeah. And I've done jobs in the past where an iPad or a phone isn't an option. Yeah. So you use what you find around you. Okay. And you found a toxic so shock. I may have, you know, sat and read the instructions to a tampon on. <laughs> And that's where I was just like, that's a thing? I didn't even realize that could happen. So, yeah, male ignorance. We, we, I understand we as men are blessed. Yeah. Like, all we have to do, right, is we have to, you know, make sure we get it in the toilet when we pee. Yeah. Um, go on a diet when the missus says and occasionally do or do not shave your face. That is about it. That's all we have to do as men. Yeah. We don't have to deal with, you know, periods and no. all childbirth and things like that and menopause and all the other wonderful things that ladies put up with. So for that women, we thank you. Yes. We salute you. Yes, you are. Ladies. You take it. Take one for the team. Yeah, definitely. So we do appreciate everything you do and while we are on the subject of shaving, that brings us to our second sponsor this week. Yeah. That's right. Uh, let me find the bump they've given me to read. Yeah, the, the leaflet. So, yes, the second sponsor this week is the Electric Shaver Club. Cool. That's right. Do you shave anywhere? Do you use an electric shaver? Well... Join the Electric Shave Club for a fun website where people talk about their electric shaving methods. I've been a member for over 10 years and my electric shaver is still going strong today. Uh, do you have a strange rash, maybe? Or, um, you know, have you got sort of issues with your, your skin? Uh, is it on your face? Did you love a woman who is unclean? If that's the case, then go see a doctor. But if you didn't, and it's just because you've been shaving, then go to theelectricshaverclub.com and share your secrets and tips to a better electric shave. Thank you, Electric Shave Club, for sponsoring this podcast. Oh, cool. I might check that out because I need a shave. No. no. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Old caveman over here. Does, hold on. <laughs> one question with that, with that website. Can grannies join? Um, grannies can. I mean, they shave places. Their face. Do they shave places? Their face, I think. I don't know. I know. Ask your grandfather. I will. My, I don't have one. Well, we'll leave it there then, and we'll get you to ask your gran if she shaves. Sure. Somebody ask a gran if yeah. they shave. All mine are dead. Okay. I'll I'll go round the high street <laughs> and ask grands if they shave. <laughs> yes. If on it, if no, right. Seriously, <laughs> if you grab a camera yeah. and start asking pensioners if they shave, yeah. 
I will do something of great, um, I don't know, value, something to, I will, I, I will be amazed okay. if you do that. Challenge accepted. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> so there you go. Join us again another week yep. for Fender interviewing grannies. Yeah, And that is going to do it for this episode of the Left in Lobby podcast. As mentioned at the start, you can catch us on Twitter, YouTube. Uh, I was about to say one that we don't have. Uh, iTunes, we are on iTunes. Yeah. If you go onto iTunes, give us a listen. If you like it, make sure you give us a rating. Let everybody know how awesome we are. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, so you can catch us on iTunes. You can catch us on Facebook. You can catch us on SoundCloud. You can get us on Twitter. And, of course, the Discord chat, if you want to come and chat to us and say hi. We're thinking about locking that off once we get a, a good few members. Yeah. Maybe making a, a paywall to it, but we're just sort of finding our feet at the minute. And we just want to enjoy chatting to you guys. Yes. So, is there anything else you would like to add, my friendly co-host? Uh, no, just have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Yes, week, next week. Week, week, week. That that was kind of weak, dude. That was weak. Weak. <laughs> oh yeah. So bye. Bye bye. <laughs>